Hello everyone, it's Teresa back with Craving Crochet. Let me show you something. Hi everyone, it's Teresa. I hope everyone is doing well. Um, I have finally made my tutorial for the cafe curtains and they turned out really, really cute. I'll show you. This is what it looks like when they're not hung up. <laughs> I made these little loops on top. Made about 14 loops, but you can customize them to make them um, as large as you like. And then this little scalloped, um, uh, what do you call it? The shell stitch on the bottom, which looks so pretty. I took some pictures. I have to go out and buy my um, rod for my kitchen window. I'm going to put them right in the center of my kitchen window. I did take a picture of it with just one panel. I made two panels. So I just have to finish off the, the loops on this panel, and I'm going to do it finish it off with the tutorial on that. I know it looks kind of weird when you look at it like this because they're just kind of like, and this is a, a number three weight, but um, when I hung them up, oh my gosh, they look so nice. I'm so excited. I hope you make these, Sharon. I hope you make them. I tried to think of something that was simple so that it's not too comp. I, I don't like when it, uh, um, when a pattern is too complicated, it, it, it's got to be easy, easy and fast and fun. That's the whole thing with crochet. So the way I put them on the rod was um, you go in through one way and it's like so through the front and then the back. And then you get that nice little, it looks staggered. So I'm looking like in the front, in the back, you can see it in, in the picture. Hopefully it'll make sense when you look at it. But so you feed when you feed your, I'll show you with this. When you're feeding your your um, curtain rod, just I'll see if I can try and show you. Maybe I'll do it in, when I finish this tutorial. So you go in, in through the front, and then the next loop you go in through the back, and then again in through the front, and then in through the back so that they're staggered, right? And when they're hanging, they look so nice. I think that's the best way. So anyways, I've never ever done anything like this before, but they are really pretty. I can't wait to put them up in my kitchen. I'm going to put them like in the middle, like I said, in the middle of the window. And I think they're going to look amazing. Ah, they're so cute. So like I said, I did two panels. I measured my window. And then I made each panel the same size as my window. So there's two panels. And then when you bunch them up, you know, they have that little... I don't even know what, what you call it, but they just look gathered, that gathered look, which is so cute too. But when you have them open or closed, this is what it looks like if you want. Well, that's one panel. I guess I'll always have that little mushy look <laughs> or uh, what's the gathered look because there's going to be two together. So um, if you only want to do one panel, you can if you just want to have this look. So that it always looks straight like you can see the whole thing like so you can do it that way too but I thought two panels would look really nice and you get that gathered look when you open when you open them up so anyways the tutorial is done I hope you try it and I hope you share the pictures of your cafe curtains it's a simple pattern it's easy and it's pretty and you can do these for a little girl's room anything so anyways, I hope you enjoy it and uh, let me know uh, what what projects you tried to do with this for which rooms and how they turned out. Send me pictures and uh, we'll talk to y'all soon and on with the tutorial. Hi everyone, I'm back with my cafe curtain tutorial. Let me move that out of the way. So, this is one panel. Oops, getting all the stuff confused here. Hold on, I got all this stuff on my table. Okay, so this is the first panel that I made. Let me just show you quickly. 
it's not too too long it's just going to be kind of like a balance but you can make it as long as you like I think this is a really simple simple pattern and it's really 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 nice and easy that's what I like I like nice and I like easy <laughs> and so what I'm using is this um, it's just a white uh, acrylic 100% acrylic yarn it's a number three weight and I am using a I always use this hook five millimeter hook hopefully you can see that okay so to start it we are to make um, multiples of eight plus one so what I did was I measured my window the width of my window and then I believe I doubled it because um, this is gonna be one panel so when you put them together you want it to kind of bunch up right when you're when you have it open so I don't know I've never done this before this is just somebody had requested this one of my one of my um, YouTube followers Sharon Motley and so I hope it works out Sharon um, I really hope it works out but I mean it's just you know it's it's curtains so uh, you know we don't have to really worry about ha it having to fit a body or anything so I think it's really nice and it's quite simple so you start out like I said you make uh, multiples of eight plus one so to start you're gonna do a slip knot and move this over here hang on do that again so that's how this is how I make my slip knot just like that and then we are going to make a chain of I'm gonna do a hundred and thirteen so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so I'm gonna continue off camera and then when I reach 113 I will come back and show you what the next step is okay so I've done my chain of 113 that's including that extra one stitch of the multiples of eight and then the next step is we are to make a we're supposed to make single crochets all the way along this chain so you do your first one you make your first one in the second chain from the hook so you never count the one on your hook so that's the first that's the second I believe first second I think it's this one it's always kind of tricky to see it and then try and film it so there's one and then go into the next stitch make another single crochet go into the next stitch make another single crochet and again in the next and just follow this all the way down the chain just like this making a single crochet in each stitch across so it looks like this so I'll do one more and then I will meet you when I make it to the end of the row so meet me back when you finish all, making all your single crochets along your chain okay so I've done my single crochets all the way along my uh, foundation chain and I went right to the very end here made my last single crochet I think right in the beginning where I first made that first slip stitch I'm not sure but yeah so next the next so the first row so that was my first that's the foundation row you just do single crochets all the way along and then when you get to the end of the row you make your last single crochet and then you chain three one two three and then you flip your um you flip your work around and what we're going to do is we're going to make a shell stitch in the next um part of the pattern so in order to do a shell stitch we have to go into the third no you skip three one two three so in the fourth one you're gonna make three double crochets so that's one and then another double crochet that's two and then a third double crochet that's three 
and then we chain two, one and two, and then you're going to go back into that same space and you're going to make another three double crochets in that same chain space. So that is your first shell stitch. So the next uh, part of the pattern is we are going to make a V-stitch in the next um, part of the pattern and again you're going to skip three, one, two, three, so in the fourth you're going to make a V-stitch and how you do that is you make a double crochet just like that, chain two, one, two, then again make another double crochet in that same space. So there we have it. It's a shell stitch and a V-stitch. Then we're going to do a shell stitch and a V-stitch all the way along. So I'll do, I'll do another shell and another V and then I'll meet you at the end of the row because it's just repeating the same thing over and over. So once again, so one, two, three. So in the fourth, we're going to make a shell stitch, which is three double crochets. So that's one. two, three, just like that. I need more yarn. Okay, and then we're going to do a chain two, and then we're going to make another three double crochets in that same space or stitch. So that was one, two, three, just like that. See, so we have another shell, there's the V, there's the shell. So one more, we're going to do the V again. So we count one, two, three, in the fourth, you're going to make a double crochet, chain two, and a double crochet, just like that. It's so easy and it's so pretty. So the next one we're going to again uh, skip skip three in the fourth you're going to make the shell, skip three and in the fourth you can make a, a V, skip three in the fourth you make a shell all the way along and I'll meet you at the end. I believe, where is it? I don't know where my thing went. Uh, hang on. <laughs> I believe when we get to, let me see, look at this panner, panel, the first panel, I did it at the beginning of the year. So yes, yeah, so I believe when we get to the end, we're going to make a, a shell and then we're going to make, and then we're going to attach here, but I will walk you through it. So um, I'll meet you back at the end. It's pretty easy. It's a very easy pattern and it's really nice. I love it. Um, yeah, I tried to make it simple. Simple is the best and it's uh that's what really relaxes you when you're doing crochet it's just repeating over and over and over again so I'll be back when I get to the end of this row okay so I'm at the end of the row and I've made my um, single or sorry my shell stitch and then I have a couple of stitches left here so what you do is you make a double crochet in the very last stitch just like this right so remember the beginning we skipped we skipped those um, we skipped some stitches we did a chain three I believe yeah we did a chain three and that represented the, the double crochet or yeah it re represented a double crochet and then we skipped the three or the four into the fourth and we made the shell then we did the V and so on and so forth and that's pretty much what you're doing at the end. So whatever you do to one side, you do to the other, just like in uh, algebra. <laughs> so now what you do is you chain three, one, two, and three, turn, and now it's really like a no-brainer. All you have to do is, so here you have a shell stitch, so you make a shell stitch in there, in that space, in that in-between area there, in that shell stitch space. 
So, and we do that by making three double crochets, just like this, chain two, and another three, one, two, and three, just like that. So you're just building on top. And that's basically all we're doing from here on in. So now we go to the V, that space, when we did that V stitch, and we're gonna just do another V stitch on top of that. So you do a V, or a double crochet, chain two, and another double crochet in that same space, just like that. Very easy pattern and very pretty pattern. So now, again, shell, you go into that shell space area there, and you make another shell. One, two, and three, chain two, and another three. So what I found when I was doing this, if I wasn't paying attention, if I was getting involved with TV while I'm crocheting, <laughs> sometimes I would, <laughs> I would mess it up. So if you find that you mess it up, like you get to the next row and you're like, oh, you did, you ended up doing two V's or something. Just carry on with the pattern. Don't rip it out unless you really want to. Um, I did rip it out one time because I noticed that I had done two of the same stitches in a row. But you have to remember to do the shell and a V, shell and a V all the way across. So I'm just going to finish this row. I'll meet you at the end of this row. So basically what you're going to do when you get to this row is, um, the end of the row is you're just going to join it here at the chain three. But I'll show you how to do that and then I will leave you to it. So I'll be back when I finish this row, show you exactly how I, how I end it and start the next row and then I will leave you to it. I'll be back. Okay, I am finished the row just about. So I did my shell on, on the last shell and then now you go to the third, see how you, we made the, uh, the chain three? So we go one, two, three, so right about in there, you make, you just uh, do a slip stitch, just like that. So you attach it, chain three, one, two, and three, and you turn. And you just continue in this fashion. I'll do another shell just to show you one more time. So shell on shell and V on V. <laughs> pretty easy, right? And it's really pretty. So that's three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets in that same space to make that beautiful shell. Just like that. And then we do a V on top of the V stitch. This is your next V stitch. So you just do a double crochet, chain two, and double crochet to make that V. Just like that. So just try to remember to go do the V on top of the V, shell on top of the shell so you don't mess it up. I did mess it up a few times, but I just kept going. So you go all the way across. It's really easy and it's so pretty. And then when I get to the shell, yeah, I make another shell and then I'm gonna just attach it again the way I just did. I go into the, about the third stitch here. One, two, three. Make your slip stitch, chain three, flip it around. Keep going, do the same thing. So I believe I did about 14, 14 rows on this one, I'm pretty sure. But you make it as long as you want. You don't have to do 14, you can do 20, you could do however many you want. You can make it all the way like a full length curtain if you like. I'm doing it more like a little balance. Cafe, well cafe curtains are supposed to be like halfway. Um, but whatever you want, that's the beauty of the crochet. You can make it Knitting and crocheting is so beautiful. You can just customize it to exactly what you want. And then I love the way the shells 
we're just gonna put them hang it from the bottom like this is the, the beginning row right and then when you hang it down it's got that pretty scalloped um, shell which looks really I think that's gonna look really nice on a window so anyways I'm gonna carry on finish my second panel I'm gonna do 14 like I said you make it as long as you want just as long as you make two identical pan panels and then I will come back to show you how to make the loops I believe you don't need to make loops you can buy hooks like shower curtain hooks but I think I'm gonna crochet some loops I don't know we'll see we'll see how that works out because <laughs> I've never done this before so I might end up just using loops but I'm thinking of crocheting some loops right like some chains and um, yeah I guess I would have to secure them in, into each one but um, yeah I'll be back to show you that once I finish this panel okay so I will meet you back okay here we are now I'm going to show you how, how I make these loops I've done it on one panel I tried to make it really simple so that um, oh, the card just backfired oh there it goes again <laughs> uh, so that it's easy because I was trying to make loops and then uh, feed them through here but I thought and then you had to attach each one I thought no 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 forget it that's too much work so if you don't want to make these you don't have to you can just use um, if you have shower curtain um, uh, shower curtain holders or whatever they're called loops you can probably just feed them through like wherever there's these little holes you could try it that way I don't have any uh, shower curtain loops so I just thought I would crochet them and they actually look really nice when they're hanging with this little crochet look um, and I tried to make it really simple so that it wouldn't be a big thing but you can always just easily put um, in here in these spaces here maybe I'm not sure how, how I would do it because I didn't actually try it so um, if you can if you want you can try it that way maybe putting in um, um, shower curtain loops in here or something in each every other one but anyways I'm going to show you how I did it I don't know how that would work but uh, so this is the panel when it's completed right so you've got that cute little um, scallop look on the bottom so you go back to the very top where we started, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to attach the yarn right at the corner. And let me find the beginning of the yarn. Okay, so I found the beginning of the yarn. It was all, all over the place. <laughs> so what you're going to do, just go into that very first single crochet we made at the beginning. I guess try and go underneath both loops and then just attach your yarn by making a loop and then um, um, I started out by making 12 no I made 20 so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So I made 20 chains. This is the beginning of the first loop. And then we go into, remember where we made the shells? So we're going to go right on top of that shell space here, but right in that single crochet. Because when we first started this project, we did a single crochet row so and then you just make a single crochet in there and that's it so I'm actually want to do two in that same space just like that so you make two single crochets in that shell um, opening part like in the middle of the shell okay and then we're just going to continue continue making single crochets along so one two three just along and then when you get to the fourth one oh I think I'm actually am I actually am here where I wanted to be 
because um, when I was doing it with the other panel, I believe I counted like four. But anyways, I what I what I want to do is I want to I want to this is how I figured out to do it that I thought would look best and easiest to do. So when you get to that um, V stitch, the middle of it, which we are pretty much now, that's where you start making your other loop. So we did the single crochet pretty much there. It looks, see, there's the middle of it. And I made the single crochet a little bit staggered off, but that's okay. So then we do 20 again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So now what we're going to do is we're going to find where that shell stitch is, the middle of it again, right here. I'm just going to go right on top, where the not in the hole, but right above where we did the single crochet in the beginning, in that foundation row. And that's where I'm going to make two single crochets, one and two. Okay, so my, bat, uh, my memory card was full again. So... <laughs> Okay, so that was the second one. I made the two single crochets in where the shell stitch was. And then we're just going to single crochet all along until we get to that V stitch, the center of the V stitch. So I thought it was every four. Anyways, um, I don't know, let's see. So let's go into, I guess in here, in the next. So that's one, then in the next. Make another single crochet, two, three, and then when you get to the fourth, that's probably the middle part, more or less, of the um, the V stitch, because we did shell stitches and V stitches, shell stitches and V stitches. So you make your single crochet um, in the center of that, which is probably the fourth. In the beginning, it didn't seem to be the fourth; it was the third, but as long as you make it in the center, doesn't matter. Uh, and then you do again 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And then we're going to go to the center of the shell which is the next shell, right? And right above the center of it is that single crochet from the foundation row. And we're gonna make two single crochets in that space. One, oops, let's do that again. One single crochet and let's make sure it's underneath both loops and two single crochets. So there's your next loop, done. Easy, 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 easy. I hope you think it's easy. I thought it was easy. And when I hung them up, I thought they looked so cute with these loops. So now I'm just gonna go to the next one and then I will let you do your own. One, two, three, and now see, we've reached the center of the uh, V-stitch once again. So we're going to make the fourth single crochet there. And then again, you're going to make 20. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, and 20. Make 20 chains and then go again. Find your shell, your next stitch, uh, your next shell stitch, and make two single crochets in that foundation single crochet. One and two. So now we're just going to carry on continuing doing your single crochets until you reach the center of the V stitch. Make your single crochet there and then 20 stitches, 20 chains and just carry on and I will carry on as well and I will meet you 
when we get to maybe here or, or here at the last the last one here this is the last V stitch and then when we get to the last V stitch we're going to make 20 and we're going to attach it to the end we're not going to do it at the shop because we want it to be uniform like this one okay I will meet you back alrighty so I have reached okay so this is my second last loop I'm gonna make my last loop so I've reached the middle of the V stitch I made my uh, single single crochet in there now I'm gonna do my last 20 chains one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, so see how we were putting it in the center of the uh, chain, uh, not the chain, the center of the shell stitch. So now because we're at the very end, we're, we're just going to go right to the end. So all you do is just go into that last stitch. And I believe I just did a slip stitch just like that. And then I just chain one and fasten off. Cut your yarn, pull it through, and we're done making the loops of the cafe curtains. All we have, all I have to do now is just clean up my. Uh, any loose uh, extra scragglers that we have just to make it nice and neat. So there's one here from when I finished the panel, but this is it, it's all done. And these are really cute. I'm so happy that you um, requested this, Sharon, uh, because I actually thought, yeah, I could use some in my uh, kitchen. I didn't have anything covering my window there. Um, and these look really, really cute. So you don't have to do the 14 rows. If you want to make them longer, you can. But I didn't want to make them too long because this is going to go in the center of my window. I just want them, I just, I didn't really want something to cover completely because I don't have a lot of light in my house. So that window, you get quite a bit of sun coming through. So I just thought this would really look so cute and I'm just so grateful that you did ask for this Sharon and I hope you try it I can't wait to see it and anyone else that wants to do it so you can make these you can make these all the way down to the floor if you wanted to if you had lots of extra yarn I used a number three weight I'm sure it, it, it's it's nice and drapey I thought if you use a lighter weight and this is some yarn that I have I have lots of this yarn so um, but I'm sure it would be fine with a number four you can use a cotton Whatever you whatever you have on hand, try it out. See how it drapes and see if you like the, the way it looks. Because maybe if you use a number four, it might be bulky. But if you like that look, hey, that's fine too. But um, yeah, so we're done. We're done the tutorial. I hope you try it. And um, once I get my the curtain rod, I'm going to post some pictures of the finished, um, the actual window. Because that window, the picture that I have on this one... I just put them in my bedroom because I had a rod there that I could use so just to see how it would look and I thought it looked really pretty so anyways I hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and you found it easy and you try it and um, if you do try it I would love to see your pictures on my Facebook group um, which is called craving crochet I'll leave the link here below and thank you once again and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Let me show you something.